But after years of drought, this summer, island farmers produced a bountiful harvest, sparking hopes for record exports that were suddenly dashed. As of today, the CFIA has temporarily suspended trade of fresh potatoes from PEI to the U.S. The reason? Potato wart, a fungus that looks nasty but poses no risk to human health. It shut down PEI's exports 20 years ago when it first appeared. Now there's a system to isolate fields that have it, a system the province says is working. The potato industry in Prince Edward Island is equivalent to the value of the auto industry in Ontario, the forest industry in British Columbia, the oil and gas sector in Alberta. And for a Canadian minister with a stroke of a pen in the face of good science and historical protocol to do this is inconceivable. Prompting today's decision are two fields on PEI where potato wart was found last month. They were already closed, not just to U.S. exports, but to other provinces. But even so... The U.S. would have imposed a federal order to the same effect which would be much more difficult to reverse. This is solely a politically based trade disruption that will limit trade in a year when potatoes are already in short supply across North America. PEI has announced $10 million in provincial support, but says the lost exports could top $100 million, and it expects Ottawa to pay. Our beef right now is not with the United States. Uh, it's the Minister of Agriculture for Canada who's wielding this knife and it's cutting us deeply here in PEI. But as frustrating as the export ban itself is, there are also no conditions set as to what it would take to end it. Until that happens, the country's smallest province will feel like it's being squeezed between Canada and its biggest trading partner. Kerry Campbell, CBC News, Charlottetown.